My man. So I read somewhere you listen to a lot of motivational speakers. Which motivational speakers are you listening to these days? How do you know that? I pay attention to everything, okay. man. I know everything. Uh, I'm listening to Eric Thomas, man. He, he, he gets me going, man. Eric Thomas. What is it about Eric Thomas? I listen to um, preachers too, like T.D. Jakes. But um, Eric Thomas, man, he just, there's always something new, something fresh. It's not, it's just not the same old thing. He just has a way of getting into your intellect and making you get out there and want to put in that extra work. You know what I mean? And that's what you need in the sport. How'd you get into listening to motivational speakers? Um, I mean, I kind I want to be one too one day. I, I like to motivate. I like to inspire people. So uh, I, I looked it up one day on YouTube. I looked it up on YouTube one day, and he came up. Les Brown came up. A few others came up, and it was just like, and then that famous Rocky quote. So it's just something that and me, me wanting to impact and motivate the, the youth and the kids. I just, I just gravitated toward it, and then when I listened to that, it got me going to another level, even mentally and spiritually, so I just kept going. Which one influenced you the most? Huh? Which one influences you the most? Um, everybody wants to be a beast to the time to do what beasts do. And that, that one influences me a lot because, especially in an anxiety sport like boxing, me mental, your mental has to be stronger than your physical, and as strong as your physical is, if your mental is not as strong or stronger, you can't perform. You can't. The physical will will diminish. Really, you almost be like a deer in headlights. So basically, it shows when the lights come on, it's time to perform, and that's the same thing you do in boxing. You got to keep your head in the game. You got to be mentally strong. You got to stay focused and overcome and that's really mental strength how important to you is it fighting at the Barclays Center you're from Long Island it's your third time out there you're fighting a guy with a similar record how important is a victory to you um, I was born in I was born in uh, Brooklyn I lived in Queens for a few years um, the majority of my life was in Long Island you know, I, represent, I represent Long Island I represent SG13 for me it's coming back home um, I fought here 2013, Golden Gloves. It was the first ever 132 pound uh, to win the Golden Gloves and to win the Sugar Ray Robinson Award. 2015, I came back, won it again in the Barclays Center. I had my pro debut in the Barclays Center. I fought in the Kid, kid Chalk with Danny Jacobs on the card in the Barclays Center. So, Barclays Center is home for me. So, I love it. I love it. It's a great feeling. Um, it's a new era, it's a new history of boxing, and I'm happy to be a part of it.